Hello and welcome to this 48th video about scripting in content routing use cases. In the first part of the video, we will go through a quick intro of the concepts and the demo scenario. The demo will follow that. For the ADC script is a traffic processing tool similar to other vendors scripting languages such as iRules or Aflex. It is based on events. The events trigger at different states in a client session, at which point traffic inspections, decisions or modifications can be made. It uses a Lua syntax and help to work around or customize config cases that are not possible using standard CLI or GUI configurations. Content routing is a flexible way to send traffic to many different server pools from a single virtual server endpoint. Endpoint here is defined as the service IP address plus its port. This allows for heterogeneous backends. Backend pools with different servers or hardware might serve multiple web applications or websites, all behind the single endpoint. You could also leverage this to have different parts of the web application served by different backend servers with different hardware capabilities or perhaps tailored to the use case. Each content routing pool supports its own load balancing algorithm, persistence, network address translation settings, etc. The web UI offers a ton of possibilities for custom matching the traffic uh, each pool is getting. Particularly handy is the regular expression validator. However, there are always corner cases where complex matching conditions require scripting. When scripting, you will want to look at these functions. They can be used in the referenced supported events. Since 7.4.3, there is a script lb function set underscore real underscore server to choose or set the real server within a particular content routing. This customization is not available in the GUI. The script created for this demo will just check a few conditions. First, match on the host header name for those including the word 40. Those having it get sent to the green pool, a pre-configured content routing pool, including two of the th total three real servers. If the host header includes the word 40, the source IP of the packets matches that of the admin computer and C is using a Safari browser, the traffic goes to the red server. In all other cases, users are freely load balanced across the three servers. All these conditions could be arranged with rules in the GUI, except for the Safari check, because this requires inspecting the user agent header and thus scripting. In this demo, the system is pre-configured as to gain time, but I will explain you all the parts and you will see how simple it has been to configure it. We have three different servers, and because of the logic explained in the previous uh, slide, we are grouping them in three different groups. One of them is a pool that contains all the servers, another pool contains only two, and then we have a rule to select only one of those servers within that smaller pool. That's what we are doing here. We are creating a pool with only two servers and another pool that contains all the three servers and have two target content routing content routings which are associated with the corresponding pools. So content routings are actually defined in the virtual server section, content routing tab. You can see them over here. And because we are doing the logic for routing in script, there are no matching conditions associated with these content routings. Then, the once created, we will proceed to the scripting. And the script is this one here in the bottom. We can edit it. And as you can see, the screen is not really so nice in 40ADC in the sense there is no syntax highlighting and it might be a little bit hard to work on it but for that you can help yourself with a tool such as 
Microsoft VS Code. And here you can see a little bit in more detail the logic followed by this script, right? So first we have the we have the selection of the routing based on this command here. And we, you see that for the first condition we check that we match this whole pattern that we were showing in the slide. So when it's match, we actually select the corresponding content routing with those two servers. In addition to matching the host pattern, you are also matching the IP address of the administrator plus the user agent of the administrator, which is this matched Safari over here. Then we would choose a particular server, real server, of the pool, which is the real server number three. And finally, if none of these conditions have matched, it means we are in the case where the traffic can be freely load balanced across all the three servers and that's addressed by this part of the script. You can also see there are lots of debug lines in the script and this help us verify the operation of the, of the script as we will show you later during the runtime demo part. To complete this configuration section, let's go to the virtual server configuration and check our virtual server where we can see that content routing has been enabled the two content routing pools have been added and the content routing script is added so we will start now testing this content routing script from the CLI in order to do so first we have to configure debugging in 40 ADC with these two commands and then we will run some load using wget the CLI tool which emulates a HTTP browser the first command is the one that will send the traffic directly to the uh, server number three which is the one assigned to the traffic coming from the admin using the Safari web browser as we have defined in our script So, you can see here the client IP is .10, which is the one from the admin client. It's going only to the third server. And if we look at the fat script logs, we can see the final content routing is the pool with the last two servers. And the logic selects one of those two servers in the pool. All right, now let's see that the conditions are still working once we alter some of these parameters. For example, we are now trying to access the same content. Uh, this page is including the 40 in the, in the host name, but now the user agent is Mozilla instead of Safari. So this should make the content routing to be the same, but it shouldn't select the real server number three because uh, it is not matching the Safari. And that's exactly what's happening. You can see the real server is changing between two and three, and the content routing selected is RC2, RC3. Okay, next we can test a scenario where the browser user agent is correct. It's also the, the right host name for directing to real server number three, uh, but the IP is not the IP address associated with the admin so if we run this again we see that we are in the right content routing pool let's test the scenario when there is actually no page we are not accessing the host which contains the hotboard 40 so that should be load balance across all the three real servers using the uh, content routing call cr all so we press here and we can see the final routing is here all and the real server is changing on load balance across all the members of the pool so with that i think we have verified all the possible cases thank you